Hey guys, World Leader here. Today, I'm going to be going over PvP 3 man in tier 2. So, for the teams, if you are going tank, I honestly prefer going tank with pangs and then pangs. Obviously, if you have Robbie, double Robbie. Um, I currently do not have Robbie, sadly. I'm waiting for some of the sprockets, but once I get some sprockets, I should be able to make two. Now, for Pengs, I personally like putting an attack team brain or an attack brain if you have one. Whatever you have works, because in tier 2, it is harder to come by these. I have an attack enemy team. Any offensive type of brain usually works. If it's going to be an offensive type of familiar that has a lot of speed, you're either going to want when you hit or per turn. The reason why you wouldn't mind per turn is because here you actually do have a healing ability, which is kind of annoying. But if you do have a when you hit, you also have an attack all enemies, which will proc your pet possibly up to three times if you pro if you hit all three enemies with it, which is very, very nice and do a lot of damage. So I like when I hit versus per turn. Per turn is nicer, in my opinion, when you're playing Trials Gauntlet. So for this, that's my personal layout when I have this setup. I have around 50 block and 15 to 20 ish uh, damage reduction, give or take. I also have uh, a kind of hybrid pet which shields me and attacks weakest when I get hit. So it gives me some sustain along with some damage output. So that's how I like it. You could always go with another type of pet like a full offensive pet or a healing pet to keep yourself alive and rely on your familiars to do the damage. That is entirely up to you. Whatever works is what works. Now there are other alternatives to this and I'll go ahead and show you. You could also do something like a tank sandwich with double yobo. I currently do not have what I want to show you, but pretty much if you have a attack brain when you get hit and you have as much damage reduction as you can stack on this guy with the chip and everything, you can even get a redirect bone if possible. You would pretty much have him get attacked and he will pretty much attack him back with his, with his brain. So what you want to do is get a more offensive style tank and that isn't too bad. It's really nice to just have a bunch of tanks and them just hit you and get the damage dealt back to them. But you have to make sure that your tanks are tip top shape. They have to have as much damage reduction as possible. And by that, I just mean for Yobo, I do not recommend doing this with shrimps. Um, another way you can do the tank sandwich is still have the same layout, but you as DPS. So let's say I want it to be a DPS. I actually have that layout here so I can show you what I would do as a DPS. So let's start off with tank sandwich. We can do tank sandwich right here. And then remember, this is only pertaining for tier two meta. So we got tank sandwich right there. Obviously, if they have an attack weakest pet or ability, they will be attacking me like crazy and I can pretty much go splat really quick. If you wanted to put a bait in there, the best bait you can get is probably Borlin, only because they have a lot of speed enough to sustain themselves. And you really want to keep yourself alive, especially if you have a layout like this where you have a decent accessory and pet to do the damage. It's not too bad. I have everything put into speed minus my natural stats put into power. So I should be doing a lot of damage with this particular layout. This is something I would like. For this though, I would like having a more defensive style brain on Yobo and I would like to have an offensive per turn brain on Borland if possible. This is another layout you could have. Obviously for you, it would be when you hit if you have something like this uh, Bolter, for example, as your main hand. Now that's another layout for a layout I have personally been liking a lot as DPS for PvP is just putting two pangs in front of me, believe it or not. It works pretty good. It works very, very good because there's nothing like extort down here. There's nothing like very massive hits right away. It's very solid. If you're fighting people in your um within your stat pool, which you always are unless you're doing a 1v1 duel, this works incredibly well. Like it's insane how much this works. I have not lost a single time doing this layout as a DPS. I prefer going tank cuz I'm just a tanky boy, but when I do feel like going DPS every now and then, which is pretty often, this is the layout I run. This is my go-to. Obviously, there's other ways of doing this. You can swap that out for a Yobo. You could swap this out, put you up, and put a Borland, which I think we just did. And you could also just pretty much have the Yobo Yobo or the 
Yobo you Yobo, the tank sandwich. So entirely up to you. Other things I like to try is putting in the Skeletrad for attack strongest somewhere in the mix if you wanted to. You don't necessarily need it because in my opinion, a Skeletrad kind of isn't the greatest. I tried making him work and I'm still going to try making him work, but until I get more pumps for him, I can't really test him. So for now, in my opinion, as DPS, this is the easiest and best way to get started right here because pangs is super easy to make you can literally make a max stable pangs on your first day especially with that initial gold and capture rate boost and even then if you're an nft character you'll have all the gold from your main so you should be able to make this very very easy so this is the layout i prefer as dps and as tank it would be me up front with the pangs in the back that would be the tank layout but that's pretty much going to be it for the basic rundown on 3v3 teams. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you want me to go over a specific team, let's say you have a list of familiars, I can give you the best layout. Leave it in the comments as well, and I'll tell you that layout. I'm also going to be uploading another video later on this week that you guys might be excited for. It's going to be a tier list video, but it's going to be going based off tier two, first of all. And then I'll see if I can go up the tiers further on then. So keep an eye out for that video. Again, thank you so much for stopping by. This is World Eater. Have a great one, guys. Peace.